Connor, welcome to Ipswich Town. We've just been having a little chat off camera. I can tell you're absolutely buzzing, but just put into words how you feel now you've signed here. Yeah, I'm excited. Um, really excited. It's been it's happened quite quickly, really, um, in terms of when I first heard about the interest um, and to now. Um, yeah, something that sort of like I say, I'm really excited about. I can't wait to get going now. Mm. What's this summer been like for you? Was it one where you were thinking that you might get a move away, or did it come about quite quickly, like you just said? Uh, no, it's a bit of a bit of uncertainty to be honest. Obviously, the manager at Barnsley left, um, so there was a period of time where a new manager was coming in. Um, so yeah, uncertain, like I said, but no, it wasn't something where I was necessarily looking or not looking. It was just sort of what I thought would be best for me for the season. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I'm just delighted to be here now and can't wait to start. Let's talk a bit, a little bit about your time in football, and you really burst onto the scene, didn't you? Um, yeah, you could say that. Um, the first couple of years at Pompey, yeah, were were really good um, individually, and then obviously we got promotion as well. So, mm. yeah, it was a it was a good sort of two three year induction to into professional football for sure. And that's where you know the manager so well from. Yeah, two two really good years um, together at Portsmouth. Um, successful, like I say, we've ended up in promotion. That's what the manager was there for. That's what we all wanted at the club, um, and we were sort of able to achieve that so it's something that was was really successful when we look back at sort of fond memories together as well yeah when you moved to Barnsley what was that like as an experience Connor yeah it was good really good um so thankful for the opportunity to to play in the championship from from the club um sort of it nearly happened the summer before I went there and I went to Coventry um mm. instead so for them to still sort of take me to the club after that didn't quite work out the first time it was something I was really thankful for um, and yeah really enjoyed it uh, great set of staff and great set of lads as well so it's yeah it's something that I really enjoyed and the championship I love playing in also yeah you talk about that championship experience and what about last season in particular from a personal point of view but also for the club that looked like it was a really strong campaign and just kind of fell at the final hurdle yeah, it was. Um, I don't think anyone, including ourselves, would have expected us to be mm. where we were, um, especially at the start of the season. We didn't win for the first seven games. Um, so yeah, it was it was really good. Uh, the manager came in last season at Barnsley, and it was it was uh, really good in terms of what he got from the group. Um, personally, it wasn't a great season. It was a tough sort of style of football that we played, um, yeah. but it was successful. So I had no qualms about that. It was everyone sort of putting individual things to the side and trying to achieve for the team and that's what football's all about. Mm. That style of football, does that add to what drew you here? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, the gaffer as well. I know the way the gaffer likes to work and the style of play he likes to implement so that's something that excites me. Um, and look, obviously, to drop down the vision as well was the ambition of the club was something that really excited me. Um, I don't want to play in League One for, for longer than I have to. I've obviously had that experience in the Championship, which has made me hungry to, to play more there, to stay there. Um, so that's what I want coming here. There's ambition from the club that matches the ambition that I've got. So that's something that I can't wait to sort of start working hard towards and, and make happen, really. Mm, that seems to be a common theme. We spoke to, you know, you're the second sign in two days. We spoke to George Edmondson yesterday. He was saying exactly the same thing, that there is a real ambition here. And... Presumably that's just something you're really excited to be a part of. Yeah, look, it was obviously from the outside it looked silly dropping from the Championship to, to League One, but first and foremost this is a massive football club. Mm. Um, I know that and I know that the ambition, having spoke to people at the football club, um, the ambition that's here is exciting um, and that's something that really excites me. As a player you always want to play in good teams, you always want to play in teams that are ambitious and want to go places. So that's something that really drew me to the club, um, along with the manager as well. You played at Portman Road before, haven't you? Tell us a little bit about that. Um, yeah, I have. Yeah, um, it was in League Two with Portsmouth um, in the FA Cup. I think it was. I'm not sure which round, um, but yeah, scored. Um, and my family's all here as well in the away end. So yeah, it was a uh, it was special memories um, coming back. First time I've been back since. Um, but yeah, really nice, really nice memories. Is this a stadium you're looking forward to playing at? Yeah, can't wait. Um, I'm aware, obviously, the amount of season tickets that have been sold. Um, it's going to be unbelievable come next Saturday. Um, really looking forward to it, really excited. Um, fingers crossed it, it comes quickly now. Just jumping back slightly to your, your relationship with Paul. I spoke to him on the phone yesterday, he described you as the, the best finisher he's ever worked with, so no pressure. 
No pressure at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, we had a really good time together. Um, really good time together. Always got on well when, when we worked together. Um, and since then, we've stayed in touch in terms of text messages and things like this, wishing each other well. Um, so, yeah, he's someone that I really enjoyed playing for. Um, someone that gets the best out of his players. Um, and there's no grey areas either, which is quite important for me. Mm. Um, I really like that style. I really like that style of play that he likes to implement as well. So, yeah, I can't wait. And before you move here, you spoke to a close mate of yours and someone the Ipswich fans know very well, Adam Webster. What did he have to, have to say? Um, yeah, he was very, very complimentary about the club um, and the place in general. Really loved living here. Um, I love playing for the club as well. It's something that he spoke very highly about, um, sort of the professionalism from within the club, and that's something that I'm really into as well. So, yeah, he only had good things to say about about the football club. Just finally then, Connor, what can the Ipswich fans expect? We hope to see you in, a, in an Ipswich shirt soon. What what type of player are you? Um, I think, first and foremost, I like to work hard for the team, for my teammates, for the manager. For the football club and the fans, um, I think that's a bare minimum. Um, and I pride myself on that. If it doesn't go your way, you've always got always got that to fall back on. Um, and secondly, I like to think that I can be a game changer in terms of goals, assists, passes, um, moments in games that, that make a difference. Um, that's where I see myself and hopefully I can sort of make the differences in games this season um, and make sure that we're, we're firing in the right direction. Best of luck here, Connor. Cheers, thank you very much.